on the planet right now, so many people associate success or failure of a relationship based on its longevity. There's something I have to ask you. Do you still love her? Oh, absolutely. I think that on the planet right now, so many people associate success or failure of a relationship based on its longevity. Meaning that truly, unless you spend the rest of your life with someone, mm-hmm. the, the fact that it ended, people are perceiving that as a failed relationship, right? If you, you are married for 15 years in, in love and then you get a divorce for whatever reason, um, people will call that a failed marriage. And I think that the perception of longevity correlating to um, success or failure is something that is a huge disservice right now to to the society yeah. because um, I don't love her any less than I ever have. In, in some ways, I love her even more because I can appreciate how she showed up from this this outside perspective. And um, I can appreciate her and what she's doing on her own without me mm. in a way that is impressive. And it continues to remind me of just how much of a powerhouse she always has been. And um, what has shifted in me is recognizing that um, my self-love which has always been, you put your oxygen mask on first, right? My self-love is taking me in a direction and taking her in a direction that is not us being together romantically. Mm-hmm. And the greatest act of self-love is honoring that, recognizing that for the first time in almost a decade, there was more opportunity for growth personally outside of the relationship than inside of it. And that shift happened and within, I mean, nine and a half years. And the first thought I had that that might be the case was within weeks of us actually separating. We're both that type of person. Wow. So do you ever hope to get back with her? Ooh. um, Like, does that alive in you? I mean, the possibility is alive in me. Mm -hmm. I, I just feel anything is possible there's there's you could ask me do you think it's possible that you wind up back together with your high school sweetheart who <laughs> cheated on you and broke your heart and and now you haven't spoken to in in years mm. totally it's totally possible um and this is more likely than that and i don't actively think about it it's not something that i anticipate happening it's not something that i would bet on happening i find that the more time goes by, I feel less drawn to that specific relationship. Mm -hmm. And the thing about that that I really want to be accurate on is if we were to get back together, it wouldn't be that relationship. That's also true, yes. So I recognize that, but um, I feel like my journey is just starting. 